That's right, everybody, we're back. We're back at the Fairplex in Pomona to another car show. We're here to celebrate two of my favorite things, hamburgers and cars. Not just any hamburger, In-N-Out hamburger. Today is the 75th anniversary of In-N-Out Burger, one of my favorite burgers. If you guys aren't from Southern California or Arizona or I think Colorado, and you never had an In-N-Out Burger, let me tell you, buy a ticket, come to California, get yourself an In-N-Out Burger. My opinion, it's the best burger in the world. So In-N-Out decided to throw this huge party for the 75th anniversary. They got cars, they got drag racers going on, they got burgers, they got a, they got a whole carnival set up. So there's a big old line to get in. I already got my ticket. So I'm inviting you guys to come with me. Let's go check out this car show. Let's go get a burger. We're definitely gonna do that today. And look at some drag racers. I don't know if you can hear it in the back. There's one running right now. wait to get in there and check this out I actually had to stand in line for one hour just to get into the gates so as soon as I got in I ran straight to the food truck got me a burger there it is everybody in and out burger so good I devoured that burger enjoying every second of it and then I got on with my day well, once again that burger was delicious Come on, let's go check out the rest of this stuff here a bunch of big engines revving up over here go check out the pits this charger certainly has one of the biggest superchargers I've ever seen Look at this fairly. It might be a real thunderbolt. I mean, it looks like it. 460 in it. <laughs> Here's what we came to see, the pro mods. These are loud and fast.
if you've never experienced a drag race, you should go. But you saw that top fueler? I think he shook the lens off the camera. It was, it was so loud and so powerful. You can feel it all the way through the stand. But let's go. Let's go check. Let's go check out what we came to see. Let's go check out these cars here at the car show. All kinds of beautiful cars here. Here's this fast pack Mustang, early Mustang. Here's one you don't see all the time. Comic Caliente. No, Austin Healy. like it's original. That's in 240. Looks like it just got off the showroom floor. Fully detailed Beautiful restoration on this thing. Check out that interior. Really, really nice dots. Beautiful looking. Chevy truck, five window. Real beautiful restoration. Interior is really nice. SS 66, 67 Nova, 67 on this one. Beautiful Chevelle. Look at this beauty right here. Family owns is purchased in Lancaster, California. Original 409. I don't look like a 409. So originally was a 409. They put a 327 in it. But this is as original as it's gonna get. 62 SS Impala. Family owned since brand new. Here's this awesome looking box body. GT. Looking pretty original. Automatic. Hard to find them in this, even in this shape nowadays. Box bodies are getting pretty popular nowadays. If you haven't been in a 400 horsepower street bug, it's no. a rush. You floor it, it lands. You're running 400 horsepower in this bug? Yeah, right now. On a splitty? Yeah, well, it's a turbo motor. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But the suspension, though, it's not a splitty suspension. Oh. It's got coilovers. It's got a Porsche 5 speed. It's got coilover suspensions all the way around. You ever oh. heard of Mendiola? Yeah. It's a Mendiola suspension. Uh, it's oh. it's tight, dude. Look. Look. <laughs> bugs don't do that. Okay, bugs don't do this. <laughs> no. Bro, I can take a 25 mile an hour turn at 65 miles an hour. And it's it's awesome, man. It's, it's a real splitty? Yeah. Damn. Bro, so this is the story. The guy who did the interior, 
He's here. Uh -huh. He saw the car. He came up to me. He gave me the real story because he knows the owner. Okay. And the owner passed away, and he gave me the 411 on this whole car. So he bought this split window uh, from like in Pasadena, in Pasadena, and then and then and then went ahead and started to do custom work on it. $1,800. I've had it for 53 years. Got over 515,000 miles on it. It's a driver. I drive it daily. It's all numbers matching. I bought this when I was in college. You paid $1,800? In, in 1970. I'll give you $3,000 right now. In 1970. Look how much you're making. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's been a great car. And that's all you've done to it? Is the timing here? Well, I overhauled the engine at 310,000 okay. because the transmission quit shifting yeah. after that with the power glide. Right. So I said, as long as the tranny's out, I might as well do the engine because it yeah. will run it. I was driving it every day from Glendora to CBS in Hollywood. It's been repainted as your original color. Repainted two years ago. Uh, butternut yellow. And, Beautiful uh, car. Earl Side painted it. This year is particular. Six 66, 67 are the same. They're, yeah, they're the favorite years. Right? Yeah, they're beautiful. Look at my shirt. Look at the back of the shirt. Yeah. yeah. See the Nova underneath the drive through Yeah. That's this car. No way. Car. Oh, that's so cool. So I was going to Cal Poly in Pomona. Uh -huh. And the original in now was on Francis Dino. And I was going there two, three times a week. Yeah. For burgers. Yeah. And somebody snapped the picture. And it just happened, just happened to be... That's so cool. Here's his 54 custom lines. A Ford looking pretty original. Looks like the original paint. Looks like the original interior. Chevy Dooley with a coming swap in it. Really nice looking Mach 1. Supercharged engine in it. Big meaty tires in the back. Ooh, Chevy Nomad. LS Power. Seven Chevy Nomad. Check out this Chevy V. Four wheel drive. Oh, at least lifted. This car show ended up being enormous. There was anything you could think of. Any make, any model, any condition. It, it was just, it was all there. Anything you might be into, you'd be able to find at this car show. So we're gonna walk through some of these rolls. I'm just gonna show you them. The, there's so many of them, I, ca I can't get all of them, but here are some of my favorites.
probably one of the rarest cars you're ever going to see. Lincoln Zephyr. chopped and sectioned and molded in and all that but these are really very rare you hardly ever see them this one's really nice all custom all the engine covers body match i mean paint matched cool little z on the maybe belongs to zorro really nice Nice GT Mustang convertibles. Look at this. This one's very original. <laughs> Look at this Willis, Willys. That engine barely fits in there. Ford trucks got a very interesting paint job. They must like tigers a lot. And then the interior has tiger stripes. This square body C10 had one of the best looking paint jobs at the show. Uh, I hope I caught it with the camera, but see how it glistens? It's like a burnt orange. It was just an amazing paint job. Along with the rest of the truck. The rest of the truck's cool. Five window Chevy truck, bare metal. I guess you probably could only do that in Southern California. Look at that grill, man. That's a full custom grill. Actually, that whole front end. I don't think those headlights are stock. Really nice looking car. Really nice looking truck. I mean. That was it, everybody. In and out, sure knows how to throw a party. I got, me, I got a hamburger, saw some cool cars, saw a bunch of race cars.
took some sick pics, got a poster. All in all, great day. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.